Well, years ago, there was one politician from Buffalo making noise for change in the state assembly. It was Arthur O. Eve, and today a special honor for a man who fought to make sure the disadvantaged across the state could get an education. Here's Channel 2's Claudine Ewing. At the end of Grider Street is the Arthur O. Eve School of Distinction number 61, and now the face of the namesake graces the building in a mural. Look closely. There are two students reading. It is of the former principal reading as a child. Here she is. I'm that little girl who benefited from Arthur O. Eve's hard work, his accomplishments, and his drive to continue education for everyone. Arthur O. Eve was a force to be reckoned with in politics, but he had a passion for education. It is because of him that so many people went to college through a program called EOP. A lot of the EOP students now are retired. We are retired now. Um, I started college in 1971 as an EOP student. Eve, now 88 years old, was not able to attend the celebration. I did speak with him a few years ago. When you look at the doctors and the lawyers and the school teachers, and you look at all of the professionals who finished, and I knew early on that education was key. Eve was not only the former Deputy Assembly Speaker, but during the 1971 Attica Uprising, he put together a group to resolve the conflict between the guards and inmates. His wife was on hand for the mural unveiling. When you go home, what are you going to tell Mr. Eve? My Claudine, this is indefinable. As gifted as I think I am with words, I don't have the words to describe this because one of the most valuable things that we can all do more than ever is education. That's why this mural is special to Buffalo. Claudine Ewing, Channel 2 News.